To date, Apple have released their iOS Beta 11 updates every two weeks, but they surprised everyone this week with Beta 6 just a week after Beta 5. Any significant changes to the new iOS screen recorder? Let's find out. Welcome back to the journal folks, and as I said, I wasn't expecting this update to come out so quickly. So much so that on the day it came out, I was out capturing this footage with my drone. It also caught me completely off guard as I have no recording space at the moment, so you have to put up with these still images with emoji enhancements. All good? Great, let's carry on. First of all, a bit of cleanup from the Beta 5 review. I asked you to respond back to whether the failure to record book had been fixed, as I've personally never been able to replicate this, as well as whether the orientation fix had been applied to iPads, and the response was overwhelmingly positive. It seems to record with most devices correctly now, although recording length still seems to be somewhat of an issue, but the orientation issue appears to have been completely fixed. So that's brilliant news, we're on our way to a good screen recorder. Of course, there are always going to be some people who continue to have issues, and this seems to be a developing one, whereby your screen recording comes out all discoloured. I haven't been able to replicate it myself, and I don't think the old import-export out of a video editor will fix it. One to keep an eye on if it gets any worse. In terms of the iOS 11 beta version numbers, the developer beta is now onto version 6, with the public beta fast catching up on version 5. The following review is all taken from the developer beta on an iPhone 7. So welcome to my makeshift studio, we'll look at any changes to the screen recorder in terms of functionality first and there are absolutely none. You can turn the microphone on or off, that's pretty much it. None of the wording has changed either on start recording or stop recording and when you start the recording you get that red bar at the top of the screen to indicate that the recording is taking place. To stop the recording you can go back to the control center and stop the recording or tap on the red bar at the top and stop the recording and once it's processed the video it puts it straight into your photo gallery where you can watch the video immediately just like that. It also makes sense to do a screen recording test of the orientation issue to make sure that it's officially been squashed as a bug so here we are doing a recording on Geometry Dash which previously would squash the recording into a portrait mode once finished so as I finish a recording we'll go into the photo gallery and check that everything looks okay and it is still indeed looking like it's in a landscape format so we haven't gone back to any of the original problems and I think we can safely say that now screen recording on your iPhone iPad whatever it is on the latest version of iOS 11 should now work properly which is fantastic news we just need to move on to the next bugs and find out what they are and this is me doing a recording test with the microphone on will you be able to hear me when I put it through different video editors let's find out And the answer still seems to be no. If you take a microphone recording from iOS Beta 11 and try and put it in a video editor, you'll probably lose the audio microphone recording. Another bug that's been coming up is the length of time it takes to save a recording once you press stop recording. This is a three minute video recording. Watch how long it takes. That took 7 seconds to save a recording on an iPhone 7, so can you imagine how long it might take on a 15 minute recording with a less powerful device? Something to consider if you want to try long recordings, it's probably not recommended right now. And as a final checkup, let's test Airshow 061 to see if screen mirroring does appear on iOS 11 Beta 6. And the answer, unfortunately, sadly, miserably, is still no. I think Airshow is dead. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there have been absolutely no changes to the screen recorder in Beta 6, and that seems to follow the pattern. Every two or three releases, Apple revisit the recorder and improve it, and I would say we're down to small to medium sized bugs. I still don't recommend upgrading to iOS 11 just for the screen recorder, stick with iOS 10 and Airshow if you can get it, that's another story for another video. There are still two, maybe three more beta releases before the official release, so we're talking another month before any official release at least. If your iOS beta 11.6 story differs from mine, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below, otherwise don't forget to subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel if you haven't already done so for more iOS screen recording content just like this, enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.